Hey, what's up you guys, it's UbiFire, bringing you guys another Genshin Impact video, and today we're going to be talking about how to open up the final secret room in Dragonspine. Now, in this secret room, there is going to be a 4-star Claymore that you can get from this final room, and this basically means that you have to finish the whole Dragonspine area to basically unlock this last room. But enough talk, let's just get right into the video. So first off, let's just check out where the location of where it is going to be at. So what you want to do is you want to TP to the Statue of the Seven right here. There's going to be a little cavern underneath the mountain. Just right here. Now, as you can see, I already opened it up, but there you can see here that there's going to be four ruins, right? And each of those ruins are going to represent these slates right here. So all you have to do is use explore dragon spine find eight of these slates these gravestones i should say and you're pretty much done it should unlock and you can get everything inside so for the very first gravestone what you want to do is you want to tp to the entrance of dragon spine which is going to be right here and this is where the slate is going to be right here now for the second gravestone all you have to do is tp to this waypoint here near the broken bridge and you're gonna head over this area now when you head over here there's probably going to be a huge ruin guard here guarding this place once you kill that guy then there is going to be a gravestone here now for the third plate, it's literally going to be back at the place where you guys were, where the entrance of that cavern is. So just TP to the Statue of the Seven and then uh, it's going to be right there. So for the next gravestone, you want to go to this uh, Statue of the Seven. And you're going to start heading down south. This is probably the fastest way to get to this area. And it is going to be this ruin right here. Now, it might be locked for you because you need to do another puzzle. I'm going to have that video up before this video, so make sure to go check that out. I will be linking it down in the description below, so please do check it out if you don't know how to open this area right here. But once you do open this uh, area, there's going to be a slate inside as well as a luxurious chest. So the next gravestone is going to be at this location right here. Now there's no particular TP point that is really close to it. So I suggest you to TP to this waypoint and then just start heading up towards the mountain. And you could just activate it right here. Now for the next gravestone, it's going to be at this location here. There's going to be a little puzzle that you're going to have to solve. And I'm not going to spoil it for you. You're going to have to solve it yourself. But once you do, there's going to be a slate right under this rock or this uh, wall here. Now the next location, all you have to do is just TP to this waypoint. The point of interest is just literally this whole circle right here, you could see. And once you solve it and do whatever it needs you to do, you can then go inside of it. And once you go inside of the hole, you can then try to find the uh, gravestone. It's really obvious, it's right here. Now for the final slate, you're going to have to go all the way to the very top of the mountain, unlocking the domain, and it's going to be underneath all of that rubble. So you can see that the domain's right there, and the last slate is literally right here. And then once you guys have all of those gravestone activated, you guys can go back to the cavern and unlock the door. Now, keep in mind, yes, in order to unlock the door, you're going to have to basically complete the whole dragon spine thing. So don't be too stressed out if you don't have the weapon right now. It honestly, it, you don't really need it that quickly. But once you do unlock the door, then you want to light up these four torches that are in the room. And once you do, it's going to activate a small little cutscene. And once you watch that cutscene, it's going to pop up the Claymore. But I will be making a video on comparing the new Claymore as well as the prototype Aminus. Um, So just keep a lookout for that as well. Anyways, guys, that is all I have for the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll try to answer every single one of them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good morning, have a good evening, and have a good night. 
Peace.